Yo guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on how to beat the new chaser. So I know there's some x are struggling with this, and um, I struggle with it, but you know, I've done it a few times, and I'm uh, pretty confident in how to do it, so I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. First off, you obviously need to activate the generator, so um, let's just summon the bone boy here. So you can either just cheese him, or you can um, just kill him. I like to kill him, because you know, it's a PvE slot, a lot of sword here, more damage. So once you kill him, just go to the generator, activate it, and I have a lot of parasites on me, so I'm gonna go... Clear those up real quick. So once you activate the generator, just come to Rebanostre. And you do not actually need to get kicked down by him. You just need to activate the bounders. But um, I find it easier to just do that. And it's cool. So wait for the big bells to sound like that. And then uh, that means the chaser will be there. So if you've done all the previous steps, there you go. Chaser's right there. So his boss fight works a little differently. He has 32,000 HP. But you need to get him down to 6k for him to die. So um, it's pretty, it's pretty annoying to do. I'm not going to lie, guys. But it's pretty much the same as before, just break all his blood jars. So once you break all his blood jars, just attack him. And he will get his HP back, but um, just keep attacking him anyways, because um, he won't get all of it back. He'll just get some. As you can see, he just gets like uh, an amount back. So it does not gradually go down, you know, the more that he's um, up. It just goes down once the beginning of his um, his um, comeback, whatever, when he gets back up. See, so yeah, you don't have to worry about rushing to the blood jars. So you can just, um, you know take your time he won't slowly regen and then all your progress is lost so just keep attacking him and breaking his blood jars and yeah he will stay up even after um you broke his blood jars he doesn't go down instantly like before it's kind of annoying but um you know blame the devs all right once he goes to phase two just do the same as before keep breaking his blood jars and uh, make sure you parry all his attacks guys because um he does a lot of damage and you don't want to wipe so make sure you keep spitting on him by the way when he comes down to um get your hp back just spit and yeah just keep repeating the m1s okay this fight gets a lot easier when you break all his blood jars because um he stops healing the most annoying shit in the world i mean they just made the fight slow and tedious bro instead of you know fast and difficult which you know pretty annoying but um you know it's archmage and reducer what do you what can you expect so yeah he'll stop healing all you have to do now is just parry's attacks dodge block parry you know don't get skill issued. So I recommend just like flying up to one of these pillars because like literally nothing can hit you in phase two if you just sit here and turn on auto parry. So just get him down to 6k HP. I should be able to get him down to that in this. If I get a heavy weapon here. Nope. Okay. Quickly get rid of that. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So he should be dead here. Um, praying to God, no dumb shit happens. There we go. Okay, he's dead. So here it works a little differently. Just stand in the middle and then when he slams down, you're going to want to block parry. Okay, I, I, didn't know, I didn't think he was going to do that. That Okay, it's kind of annoying. Just... Look, auto pair doesn't do it for you, so just get ready to just dodge. Okay, I fucked it up. Block. I fucked it up again. Okay, guys, I'll get it this time. Trust me. So just wait for him to like look and say dodge. Okay, parry. Um, dodge. Okay, well, um, I didn't do it once, but you guys get the message. You know, when you see him, when you see he's about to slam down, block or dodge. Um, no, don't block. Um, parry or dodge. Or, um, you know, you're gonna get hit and almost die like me. I'm a little retarded, guys. But they buffed the loot a lot. As you can see here, it's got a three star. That's kind of lucky, I think. I don't know if that's rare. 20 HP and a bunch of gems. They buffed the shit out of his loot, guys. Please go farm Chaser. And three star shattered with damage. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good run, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Those Iron Singer plates are fucking disgusting, bro. I'm trying to farm for a crazy DVM one. But yeah, 20 HP, 5% DVM, bro, please. Go farm Chaser, bro. He's worth it. Go BM all your items you get, bro. Trust me. See, so yeah, I just want to make the quick tutorial for people that didn't know how to be the new him. Even though they did a bad job demonstrating how to do his last phase. You guys get the idea, bro. Just, you know, he's about to fall down. Just boom, F key. He's about to fall down. Q. Auto Parry won't do it for you. I'm sure Asup will fix that sometime. But for now, you can have to do it yourself, you know. I'll get skill issued, bro. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.